Understanding Retinal Vasculitis, a deep dive. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we aim to make learning English and complex topics easier for you. Today, we're going to discuss a very specific medical term, retinal vasculitis. It might sound a bit daunting at first, but don't worry. We're here to break it down for you, so by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also be able to explain it to others. So, let's dive in. Before we get into the nitty-gritty of retinal vasculitis, let's break down the phrase into two parts, retinal and vasculitis. Retinal, the retina is a thin layer of tissue located at the back part of your eye. It's incredibly important because it's responsible for receiving light that the lens has focused, converting it into neural signals, and sending these signals to the brain for visual recognition. Basically, it plays a crucial role in how we see the world. Vasculitis. Vasculitis refers to the inflammation of blood vessels. This inflammation can cause the walls of the vessels to thicken, narrow, weaken, or scar. This can limit blood flow to tissues and organs, potentially causing a variety of health issues. Now that we understand the basic components of the phrase, let's delve into what retinal vasculitis actually is. Retinal vasculitis is an inflammation of the blood vessels in the retina. This condition can interfere with the function of the retina, affecting vision. It can be an isolated issue within the eye or part of a broader disease affecting other parts of the body. Causes Retinal vasculitis can be caused by autoimmune diseases, infections, or can be idiopathic, which means the cause is unknown. Some systemic diseases that can lead to retinal vasculitis include lupus, multiple sclerosis, and Bessette's disease. Symptoms. Common symptoms of retinal vasculitis include blurred vision, floaters, small dark shapes that float across your vision, and possibly loss of vision if the condition is not treated properly. It's crucial for anyone experiencing these symptoms to see a healthcare provider for diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis. Diagnosing retinal vasculitis involves a thorough examination by an eye specialist, who may use imaging tests like fluorescein angiography to view the blood vessels in the retina and identify any inflammation. Treatment. Treatment for retinal vasculitis typically focuses on reducing inflammation and preventing further damage to the retina. This may involve the use of corticosteroids or immunosuppressive medications. The specific treatment plan can vary greatly depending on the underlying cause of the vasculitis. We hope this video has shed some light on retinal vasculitis and made the concept a bit easier to understand. Remember, while it might seem complex at first, breaking down medical terms into smaller parts can help make the learning process more manageable. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more content. Stay curious, and see you in our next video.